Yes, warning. This will be recorded, so don't pick your nose or punch somebody or throw your cat. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so tonight we're talking about beyond the oil. So um, we all, or maybe not all of us love oils, but that's okay. We have so, so, so much more to talk about. Um, so raise your hand if you buy any of these products. Cleaners. Yes, good. Everybody's clean. Um, toothpaste. <laughs> good. Our teeth are clean too. Baby wipes. Possibly if you have babies, but also there's tons of other uses. Um, and makeup. Yeah. So, um, so we're going to share a little bit about eat about each of the product lines Young Living has um, and sharing about the importance of choosing high quality toxin free products. So, so important. Um, and we're gonna talk about how to make the switch without breaking the bank. That's something I am super passionate about um, because uh, non-toxic choices don't have to make bad uh, bad life choices in your bank account <laughs> um it can it's doable for everyone and i firmly believe that so um young or uh, sophie's going to talk about um why young living young living's going to talk about sophie that's what you're about to say yeah i know <laughs> um <laughs> so I see a lot of faces that I'm used to seeing on here, um, and I know several of you already have your accounts with Young Living, and maybe not everybody does yet, and that is perfectly fine if you don't yet have an account. Um, but either boat that you're in, whether you're in the already have, an, already have a membership or you're not there yet, um, this is just really good information to um, hear. But what we put on our body matters because that's that stuff like those chemicals those constituents all that kind of stuff it gets into our bloodstream it gets all throughout our body and if it's not something that we're capable of processing it sits in our body forever and things like um crap we're getting we're recorded i can't say all the words i usually like to say um <laughs> the really bad diseases that you know are running rampant through america um can definitely hit us okay whatever whatever you want to make that up um but What's interesting is in Europe, there are 1300 different like ingredients, chemicals, that kind of stuff that are banned from your products. But here in America, only 11 from that list are banned. So we have really just really bad laws when it comes to protecting our bodies, protecting our homes. Um, and so it's kind of on us at that point to make those decisions. Um, and I'm okay with that because I think government is dumb and definitely one of those people. But um, I don't like that there are all these companies out there that are taking advantage of misinformation and lack of information and, and people's um, you know bodies are, are paying that price. So anyway what we put on our bodies matters well figuring out what the heck is in things is kind of hard i'm going to touch on this really quick but there's something called um the think dirty app it's a an app um, you can take a picture of a barcode um, of a product you can type in the name of the product you know whatever you want to do they give a rating and they explain it it's a really great tool to use for those who are just not really sure of what their product like level might be you know if you're using like head and shoulders uh, shampoo, I can already tell you that's going to be a horrible on that scale. But what if you're one of those people like that, that likes to go to, you know, the health nut like market and go and get like more natural things? Well, I think Dirty App probably will also tell you things about that where there are hidden ingredients in that. So really great tool. I highly recommend it. Young Living has something called seed to seal, okay? It's like their motto, it's their mantra. It's everything has to filter through their seed to seal process, okay? So what this is, is from the moment that the seed goes into the ground to the moment that the, um, you know, bottle of essential oil, the, uh, the uh, baby wipes, you know, whatever, gets sealed up and gets put into somebody else's home. All of that, there are no pesticides, there are no chemicals, the processing is completely pure. Ba basically from the moment it is in the ground to the moment it's in your home, there's absolutely nothing that, nothing foreign, nothing inappropriate touching it. Um, they're very specific about this because our bodies are a lot more sensitive than we realize. So if you're using brand name um, laundry detergent and you switch to Young Living's and you smell that brand name laundry detergent, you'll actually, your body will actually start reacting to it poorly um, just because of how sensitive we are. So if you're using really clean products, but they've got 
a few things here and there, our bodies are going to heavily react to that, and that really matters to them. Um, okay, so I actually call Young Living the um, the Walmart of clean products <laughs> because it's your one stop shop. We have almost everything you need when it comes to what puts what you put on your body or what you're going to use and what we don't have we have diy hacks <laughs> so that you can still end up making everything that you need um it is amazing how much we have it's it's almost overwhelming but like in a really good way of just going uh, oh i wonder if young living has this probably the answer is yes like probably it's really really great um, now that we have liquid foundation, I'm like even more so saying, yeah, we probably do have everything. <laughs> um, that was kind of the number one thing people would ask me about. Um, we also have a program where you get rewarded for how much you buy, and it's really cool. So you go to Target, you have the Target card, you get 5% back anytime you use it. With Young Living, you have the um, ability to actually get 25% back. Um, 24, 25, 24, 25. 25, okay. Um, I like hesitate for a second. 25% back in points um, as you consecutively order and things like that. Really, really, really cool um, opportunity and get to use that for further products. So better than Target. Um, also, the products are super concentrated because they are just made so well. Like when you have a pure product that's not watered down, okay, and it's not in the processing, it's not gonna bunch of additives and, and fillers and that kind of crap. It is the product. You can actually stretch it really far. So the best example is a Thieves Household Cleaner. Lindsay's going to talk about it in a second, but it's a concentrate. You use one capful for an entire spray bottle that you fill up with water. I mean, that stretches. The people have broken it down. It's like a dollar something per huge spray bottle of it. I mean, that's insane for an organic or whatever you want to label it, you know, cleaning product. So anyway. That's why Young Living. So a lot of things that we're gonna say today, I hope you hear that yes, it matters that you have clean products, but I truly believe that Young, Living's ha Young Living has the best products out there and we hit every area of your life. So Lindsay's gonna kind of touch base on a couple of those areas. Yeah, and um, just to piggyback one more time on, um, on what you were saying about like Target gives you 5% back and uh, our rewards program is 25% back if you, you get up to 25% back. Um, but you also get freebies. Like Target doesn't give you free stuff for shopping there. What? We do. I just love that. So, That's such a good point. Um, yeah. Yeah. And like points to redeem as cash on products. Like it's just a no brainer. But um, okay. So some of our product lines, um, we have so many different ones. It's literally, it is like the Walmart of healthy, you know, non-toxic stuff. Um, so we have a personal care line, um, which we're going to do a class on next week. So we're not going to go into a huge amount of detail on that. Um, but like everything from like makeup, skincare, hair care products, um, men's products too, like we've got a ton of that stuff. Um, but again, come to our class next week um, or ask your friend for the recording um, because it is, uh, we're going to go deep dive into that. Um, but our thieves line, you guys, if you already are in Young Living, you probably love thieves. Um, Sophie's showcasing her entire, uh, <laughs> under the sink cabinet is all thieves. I literally have a, like, a giant amount of thieves stuff right now, and it's not even all I have. Um, so our thieves line, everybody, if you don't have this, you need this in your life. Uh, the thieves concentrated cleaner because... It is literally so much value in this little bottle. I mean, it's not even a little bottle, it's a big bottle, but because it's a one cap uh, concentrate. So you just put one cap in your spray bottle and that's it. So it comes to be like less than $2 per spray bottle, um, which is crazy, but it's so, so good. It's safe for kids, safe for pets. Like I didn't even realize like I work with kids I don't have kids, but kids like lick everything. So you want <laughs> something that is not going to hurt them when they do that because they do that. And pets too. Pets lick everything. Um, oh, side note, that just made me think of like pets lick your lotion off of your legs. You know, like dogs lick your legs after you put lotion on. Like don't put toxic lotion on. <laughs> um, okay, so we have cleaner which like literally this is a multi-purpose I use it for every surface in my house cleaner um but then we also have like different types of cleaners like we have dish soap 
Um, and I have a ton of recipes if anybody wants it to stretch stuff. This one, I literally draw lines on because I, um, I divide it into thirds. So I stretch this product three ways because like Sophie said, um, Young Living products are highly concentrated. So this gets me three times the amount. Um, I mean, man, we have dishwasher powder, which I am new to. Um, I was greenwashed um, by a different company and I recently switched and I love it. And I actually stretch it again um, and get more bang for my buck on that. Um, uh, we have laundry soap, which is, again, super concentrated. When I first saw this, I was like, it's a tiny bottle. Like, how is this going to make it in my budget? Um, but I stretch it, and I literally write on here how many cups. It's actually half cups I use, and I've already used three half cups to fill up, like, a gallon of um, my recipe. Um, and I still have so much. I think I'm, like, right here on my bottle. So it's going to last me so long. Um, what else? Steve's hand soap. That's concentrated too. Um, there's DIY options for Thieves hand soap. Oh, Hannah just showed our luscious lemon hand soap. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. If you're a fan of like smelling good soap stores, like I used to be in high school, like that is your replacement for that. You'll get your smelly fix. Um, but we also have a lavender one too. Um, uh, let's see what else. Oh my gosh, the fruit and veggie soap. This one is like, I ran out of this and I really like, it was a really sad like two weeks of not having this, especially this time of year. Like we need to be washing our produce, even if it's organic, we need to be washing it because people touch it in the stores. Like so nasty. I never even thought about that until this year with the virus and everything that's happening right now like wash your produce. It's also, I mean, I have a garden and it's organic. I do not spray anything but oils on it. And there's so many bugs and um, just like little things like, um, and dirt, like we, we all need this in our life. And it's again, highly concentrated. You just use one cap. So that's like an even smaller cap. Um, toothpaste, mouthwash, dental floss, um, our thieves, Oil is really, really good for oral health. Um, all kinds of like mouth stuff. It's really, really good for your mouth. Um, so they made toothpaste, mouthwash, all of that kind of stuff. So it's just so, so good for you. Um, and actually, I really like the Aroma Bright um, for sensitive teeth. I have pretty sensitive teeth. We also have a whitening toothpaste that I can use as well. Um, it's just a little bit stronger, but it's like it doesn't affect my teeth negatively. Um, and yeah, they're amazing. So again, no chemicals, um, just plant-based goodness. Um, and yeah, it's amazing. Um, and if you haven't gotten started or if you're on a center rewards, or if you're just, you just have a young living account, there's a thieves kit where you can get a good amount of this thieves stuff for a, um, better value instead of just buying it all, you know, one, one on one. But, um, so definitely look into that. There's like an essential rewards, uh, thieves kit. There's a thieves starter kit. Um, it's literally the best. I could talk about it forever, but I won't. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, and then, yeah, if anybody wants any of those recipes, let me know. I've got a whole little list of them. Um, but yeah, so he's going to talk about kids, babies, and fur babies. Okay, so um, I actually have a 12-year-old foster daughter, so a lot of this applies, but also I was using this, some of this stuff way before I had her. <laughs> um, but anyway, so we actually have some really great, like, we have lotion, we have a, we have a lot of, um, we have a line specifically made for kids, okay, um, and it's like safe for kids. Almost all of our products are safe for kids, there's just a few things that like sensitivity wise, like kids are a little bit underdeveloped in certain ways that you wanna be careful. But we have an entire line called Kid Sense, okay? So there's a lotion, shampoo, conditioner, toothpaste, things like that, really, really awesome. So if you have little kids, I cannot recommend this enough because it smells fun, you know, it smells like little kid stuff and, and like really nice, um, but it's also really great for just their, their more like sensitive skin and that kind of thing. Um, 
We also actually have a couple of supplements that are specifically for kids. There's one called Mighty Pro. I was going to grab it, but I had the whole laptop in my hand and whatever. But there's one called Mighty Pro. It's a pre and probiotic for kiddos. It tastes like a pixie stick. It's amazing. Um, there's one called Mighty Vites, which is kind of like a, um, it's a regular vitamin, like kids vitamin type thing. Um, it's chewable. So for kids who can't swallow pills, like it's chewable. So it's really great for that. We also have something called Mighty Zymes. That's really good enzymes for little kids. The only problem I ever have with my girl is um, like she has to take it 30 minutes before she eats and she and I both forget a lot. So that's one that I'm always like, take it if you're really disciplined. <laughs> um, anyway, we also have something called Unwind. And it's for kids. I use it personally, to be honest with you. And it's really good right before bedtime. Kind of helps that brain shut off part. It does not make you drowsy, but it does help you stop doing the whole like, brain spiral thing. Um, we have things like baby wipes and diaper rash cream. We have a whole line for babies. It's called Seedlings. And it's awesome. There's a linen spray. There's a baby lotion, a baby wash, you know, things like that. So whether you have babies or your kids are having babies or you have friends that are having babies, like this is such a great product line to give to them because these are even more sensitive for those little babies who are like their bodies just can't handle a whole lot. Like um, our laundry detergent, what I love about it is it's actually really great for babies. And, and there are a lot of laundry detergent, detergent like lines out there that are trying to come out with like baby sensitive, blah, 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 you know, and it's like, well, ours can be used for adults and babies and be perfectly fine. And I know that for a fact, because I have a lot of friends who have specifically switched over to thieves and their babies had like reactions and now they don't anymore. So really awesome. Um, we also have an animal. So this is also like a fur babies <laughs> section. Um, we also have an animal um, it's called Animal Sense. It's one of our lines. So we have like a shampoo, an animal a shampoo that Anna's holding up right now. We have animal treats. We have um, an animal sense like uh, lotion. And it's really good for like humans to use too. It just doesn't have anything like extra in it. Um, but it's really good for wings, the baby products or whatever. So if ever you're interested in just getting like all of that together, that's a really great option. I've actually gotten it for baby shower gifts. It's cute as heck. It comes in like a little basket. They like wrap it. It's just so cute. They have like a little towel with it. Um, and then there's also like an option if you have little kids, there's an owl diffuser that we have and it's so cute. My 12 year old has it in her room. It's got like a noise machine on it. Really cool like lights and stuff like that. Um, you have to like touch the owl toes, you know, to get it to go. Um, and we also have several oils that are specific for kids called like owie and sleepy eyes and tummy jive. I mean, just like really cute kid names. Um, so if anybody in here is not already a member, that's actually a really fun, customizable way to get your membership is doing it kind of, like, I call it the kid's kit. Um, and so just really great option, really great products for those who have little kids or even just extra sensitive skin. And then Lindsay, sorry, didn't transition. Um, Lindsay's gonna talk about our summer essentials. Sorry. <laughs> Um, so our summer, summer essentials are um, pretty great too. I love this. The mineral sunscreen lotion. It is SPF 50 um, and sunscreen is actually one of the first things I switched over um, before like jumping into like more of a healthier lifestyle because I learned how toxic um, store-bought sunscreen is. It's so bad for you. And there's some like studies about how like certain ingredients mixing with the sun can really cause major damage. Um, and I just like, how do you like, like this is helping, like sunscreen in general is helping fight um, damage to your body, but it's causing a different kind of damage. So it doesn't even make sense to me why it's, so toxic but anyway um so yeah mineral sunscreen it is made with uh, zinc oxide which is um just a really great mineral um natural sunscreen um and yeah this stuff is amazing it is a little thick there's diy recipes on how to um put it in a spray bottle how to make it a little bit thinner or just put it on like this it's really soft and it um it smells really good um so this stuff is amazing i stack up on this in the summer um 
And yeah, we actually, for when you don't reapply like you should, <laughs> because this stuff works, but you have to reapply it, um, lavender and cooling mist comes in handy. Um, there's also a, what's the other one called? Cooling spray or something. Hydrating spray. I don't know. It's there's something. After something. Sun, there's after sun after spray. Sun. Yeah. And then the cooling mist. Yes. I'm a fan of the cooling mist. Um, but yeah, so we have stuff for when you don't put on your sunscreen like you should. Um, because again, the stuff in the stores like has food coloring in it. It has toxic stuff in it. Like it's not even, it's not even real. <laughs> so anyway, um, these are amazing summer combo. Plus we have insect repellent. Um, and I actually am a DIYer, so I've made my own insect repellent. But I actually tried my mom's this uh, past weekend, and I love it. It is so soft um, and smooth. Oh, my gosh. It's so nice. So, yeah, insect repellent, it's amazing, and it does not have some major, majorly – oh, the wipes, too. Yeah, Hannah and Peggy are holding up the wipes. There's a wipe um, version of it or the pump bottle, or you can turn it into a spray. Um, but that stuff will last you a long time. I've heard them say that the wipes, one wipe will last for like four people. Um, so that's pretty impressive. Again, super concentrated, like you can get multiple uses out of stuff, which mm -hmm. I really respect that Young Living values that. And, um, and it's not just like you're getting a lot for your money. Um, so yeah, those are our favorite summer essentials. Um, and yeah, Sophie's going to jump into supplements and I cannot wait. <laughs> so everybody here, our favorite supplement is this little red drink right here. It's called Ninja. Shake her up. <laughs> I'm actually going to add it. I'm going to unscrew it if I can. I'm going to add it to my lemonade. And you just, you just do a little dash. Why not? Um, if you're not taking Ninja Red, you need to change that. This is literally the best supplement ever. It's one of the one of the supplements that we have. Um, the wolfberry is what it's made out of. The wolfberry is cousin to the elderberry. So everything you know about elderberry, immune system support, that kind of stuff, it does that and more. Brain fog, energy levels, all that kind of stuff. It's phenomenal. And honestly, it tastes so stinking good. Um, so that's one of our supplements. We also have things that cover your vitamins A, E, C, B, D, like all that kind of stuff, like so great. Um, we have Life9, which is a probiotic for adults. Um, we have um, like supplements, like I talked about with the kids. I mean, we have a supplement called Unwind that literally helps your brain to stop doing the spiral that all of our brains do at night. Like, oh my gosh, I saw this one thing that was, there's like this meme where um, somebody's going, hey, the brain's going, hey, are you still awake? And the person's like, yeah, I, no, I'm asleep. Go, like, go to bed. And then it's like deep theological question that the brain asks. And it's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> and it's always at 2 a.m. And so this is really nice because you take it before bed and it just kind of helps your brain stop doing that. Um, we just have so many different supplement options. If you are dealing with issues or you, know, you need extra support, that kind of stuff, like maybe you need to take a supplement because you're a runner or you work out a lot and your joints are achy. We have something for that. We have actually several some things for that. Um, so like whatever area of life, we probably have something that can really meet you there and help you thrive um, and help you survive. Anyway, we also have CBD, okay? So we have a, a, a CBD line. Hannah has the roller, is it the calm one? Yeah, the calm roller and the muscle balm. Honestly, those are what I use the most. Um, we also have CBD drops and they're really good. I mean, like just a regular like dropper thing of the CBD oil. Um, I actually try to take that at night. You can take it in the morning, you can take it in the middle of the afternoon, you know, do whatever works for you. Um, but that's really good for if you're dealing with a lot of like aches and pains, if you're dealing with, um, you know, maybe some mental health issues, like things like that can really just meet you there and help you and support you so that you don't just survive, you thrive. Um, but anyway, those are what we have. So we have, to kind of recap, we have CBD, supplements. We have an entire cleaning line, including like cleaning your teeth and, you know, things like that. Um, we have things for your summer that are your summer essentials. And we have things for babies and kids and fur babies. Like, 
that's a lot. On top of that, we didn't even touch on the personal care products because we're having an entirely other class for that. So like I said, in the, or like Lindsay said in the beginning, we have something for everything. Like <laughs> we have everything for something, whatever you wanna say. Um, and it's just really, really cool. But at the same time, we touched on them pretty quickly. So if anybody has any questions on specifics, now's the time. This is our Q&A session. And I uh, just would love it if you guys would lay it on us. Um, <laughs> so wait, who said that? Oh, so Lindsay. Lindsay, you said that. That's really funny. What did I say? No, other Lindsay. Lindsay. Oh. Lindsay with, Lindsay with an E. E. What did I say? Oh, yeah. Th these two swear by it, and I just want to dive more into it because I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm damned if I do and damned if I don't. So I might as well hop on board, well, right? Well, so swear by Young Living, swear by a certain product. The Nisha. Like, hmm. So yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah. You actually, because Lindsay, do you have a kit? Do you have a, a membership, or is it Nicole? Nicole okay. does. Oh, he's no. going you to. You definitely should get the Ninja <laughs> kit. Are you okay. kidding me? The You're Ningxia kit it. is a freaking amazing deal, and y'all would get enough Ningxia, you could both drink it for a little bit, and then y'all can reorder. I use my yeah. points to buy it. Well, Hannah, you know me, I'm like a factual person, so send me some some information and I'll... I got you. I'll see what I can do. You don't get to be a factual person, and then when somebody sends you facts, you get to ignore it. Like, if she no, sends it to you, them it's in. legit. I'll take them in. <laughs> buy the damn she'll kit. She'll order her kit, and then she'll order her kit. No, she's just going to order the kit because I said so. <laughs> That's also how it works. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So I might as well learn about what I'm about to start yeah. drinking. So. But yeah, I think it does matter for you to like know why you're doing it because oh. otherwise it's like, eh, why am I spending this money on something that tastes good? Like, um, so that is important because I want well, you to right. over and over. In my other thought process is I'm about to, after being out of like working from home for the last couple months, I'm about to be back at work. So this is the perfect time to start like a whole new routine. So that's, yes. that's kind of my end goal with all of this, just to start a whole new routine, too. Yeah, that's but such knowing, a great perspective. Lindsay, besides knowing that we love it, um, what do you know about it already? Do you know anything? Uh, no. I mean, just, like, bits and pieces of, like, what Joyce has said, how it gives you, like, a little burst of energy and whatnot. But, I mean, I'm not the healthiest person anyway, so really kind of anything <laughs> will be beneficial. Um, one of the main reasons I use it is because of the um, um, antioxidants. It's extremely high. I mean, there's like really nothing else out there that is as high as the antioxidants level in this. And since I have um, autoimmune and inflammation is always an issue, then I'm always trying to find ways to okay. put antioxidants in. Antioxidants fight the free radicals. The free radicals go around and oxidation is rest. And so in us, it's, and, and inflammation is a precursor for every disease, therefore. Um, so, and the fact is, it tastes great. It's great for you. It's a fruit serving. I mean, we can just go on and on, but. And a vegetable sure. serving. Um, yeah, so a couple of things. Lindsay with an E, Lindsay with an A, said that they, we actually have an entire class on Ninja. So, um, do we have that recording? Oh, yes, but. no, maybe not. But we have all the info. So Hannah apparently is going to send you all the info anyway. So great. Well, um, Joyce, Joyce is going to send all. The oh info. yes. <laughs> Tabs, you said something about the. Is there another option instead of the um, after sun spray? And I know Hannah said the sandalwood hydrosol. I wanted everybody to hear that because Tabs mother-in-law can't handle the lavender. But another option too for things like bug bites and um, you know even like the sunburn that kind of stuff. That's actually when I would recommend also the animal sense lotion, the ointment, um, because it is just so healing and so like it's like a waxy feel to it. Um, so it actually would really help. And I don't think it has lavender in it, um, so that might be another option as well. Yeah. So hand shaking her head no. So. So what is the issue with lavender? Did I miss that? Her mother-in-law is. Um, Allergic or sensitive? Allergic. Yeah, allergic. So she can't have it yeah, around. Can hear me, but hello. Yeah, my mother-in-law is allergic to lavender, so we can't have it like on my kids' hands or anything like that. She just can't accidentally be touched. And a lot of those items seem to have lavender in it. So there's certain things that we have problems with because I got twin boys. 
who are outside all the time so they get sun and bug bites and scrapes and so just try and find alternates for it. So is this yeah, a, that that of an allergy test or was this um, because she's reacted to something in the past? Um, I think it's something she's reacted to in the past and it's like anything not, lavender. Okay I'm not arguing at all because I, I don't know. No um, I'm just saying that a lot of times there are products that say they have lavender, but it's a synthetic. It's a, it's a, um, it's not natural lavender. I don't know. And, you know, she may not ever want to try that, but a lot of people, that is something that comes up a lot because lavender is one of those that everybody feels like they've already smelled it. But when they really smell ours, they're like, that didn't smell anything like what I've smelled before because okay, our, yeah we have a um lavender bush outside and she can't go anywhere near it she gets itchy, that, that, that's so. cool stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but so i've actually i have a, i actually have several friends who are lavender sensitive so i'm not like super well versed in everything that doesn't have lavender but there have been several times that i've had to get a little bit creative um to find something and we, we do actually have a lot of options that are lavender free and I was going to say, the nice thing about Young Living, we were talking about at the beginning how things are not l labeled properly or they don't have to put certain, Young Living puts every single ingredient that is in that thing on the label. So it's not, oh, does this have, you will know if it has lavender and you won't, you won't buy it. So, okay. That's such a good point. That gives you that peace of mind. You don't have to guess if it's in there, you know. Right. Well, thank you. Welcome. Hi. Um, I wanted to mention something too. Um, I had this thieves chest rub out and then I realized like we have a whole over the counter. Um, it's not technically like a line, but like we have over the counter stuff. Um, this is a new product and thankfully I haven't needed it, but I have it and I'm ready to roll with it. Um, but we have, um, cough drops and, um, hand sanitizer and um acne spot treatment like these are all over the counter things um and like this i can actually say like can reduce can help reduce cough um so it's just uh it's really cool how there are some things that we can like we can actually make some pretty pretty high claims with because there are over the counter um, pain relief cream was one of the first and yeah. the first time we could use the word pain, but yeah. it's actually recognized and has passed all the tests and can be said. And like our insect repellent was passed by the EPA also. Um, and our sunscreen is recognized the, by the American Cancer Association mm -hmm. to prevent skin cancer, the SPF 50 does. So all of those are awesome. The Thieves um, chest rub, you just, I, we went on a, like a 12 mile bike ride and I put it on beforehand because I wanted yeah. to be able to breathe really well and it worked really well. I loved it. Yeah, it does. It's very strong. Like I, this could definitely do a number on a cough. <laughs> And the cough drops, I've used those so much. They are literally the only thing that have stopped. Like, you know, one of those, like, back of your throat, like, you're not going to stop until you, like, die. <laughs> like, those kind of coughs, that's the only thing that would help me um, this past winter. Yep. Yeah, that was, so, I, I was sitting there going, such a good point. I didn't even think about those. <laughs> yeah. I don't even think about the over-the-counter stuff because I just, like, it's just in with all the other stuff, but yeah. Well, and especially for a long time, there were so many things that we couldn't do or couldn't say. So for them to focus on having the over-the-counter where we can read what's on it and say those things, and that's very important that we try to follow the rules. Even in this class, you know, we're trying really hard to make sure that we don't say what we're not supposed to say. Um, and make any kind of claims we're not supposed to make. Yeah. We are, I was like, we what? We are not doctors, Hannah, is correct in that. Yeah. I don't want to be, I don't want to go through all that. To become yeah, a that's too much money, man. Yeah, when I can just have an apothecary <laughs> of essential oil. Um, all right, any other questions? I can start calling names out. I'm just kidding, I won't. <laughs> that was always like the most fearful moment in, in classes. Like, don't say my name. Don't say it. 
Let's see. Right now we have Actually, several like- I have one more question. Yes. About the animal sense ointment. Um, my white dog likes to sit out and sunbathe and so he gets a little pink. Would that help with that? Yeah. Okay. okay. I can get that, it's essentially like a sunburn is a skin irritation. That's kind of how I think about it. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's a cut, it's a rash, it's like whatever. And so whatever can like soothe a skin ir irritation should do the trick. And so the animal sense ointment is specifically for the skin irritation needs. Okay, perfect. Yeah, because his belly and his ears get all bright red. <laughs> But he still sits out there all day when the boys are outside playing. <laughs> I have one that does that too. She does not understand that she needs to get out, but she'll sit right in the sun. Yep. Like on the hottest ground too. Yep. Right on what our cement. <laughs> well, the animal scent ointment, we also have the rose ointment and it's, it's similar, but the animal scent comes in a bigger tub. Um, and I could go get mine to see what's on in it because I, I don't remember or actually I've got my desk reference here. I could look it up. But um, recently our oldest son, Sophie's brother, um, took a header off his bike because he was avoiding this kid that ran out in front of him and he got skinned up everywhere. And he was staying here a couple of nights this past week. And I just kept grabbing that out and it was helping his, him just get through the skin on his hands and everything so much better. Um, and I was telling him to put like frankincense in it, anything good for your skin, anything good for healing as well. So um, we were using that animal sense, <laughs> it's good stuff. And the first time I had told, heard somebody talk about it, it was at convention and I'm looking at it in the, um, what's that area so where they have the products? I can't remember. Expo. Expo. And this older gentleman comes up and he's talking to him and he goes, I use that all the time. And he showed me his hands and he's a farmer using his hands all the time. And he says, I come in, I rub that on my hands. That works. Nothing had worked before. He had dry, cracked, really painful hands before and it worked. The expo is the best. It's so much fun. Perfect. Because in the past, I've just had to use doctor, like stuff that the vet gave us for it. And that gets pretty expensive after a while. Yeah, yeah, this stuff, it's a decent sized little tub. It's not massive, but it's like a waxy kind of texture or, or substance. And so you kind of like rub your hand on top of it and get like a little bit on you. And then you just rub, you know, wherever you need it and it will last you forever. Okay. <laughs> like so long. Yeah. The things it's really good for is hot spots. Um, like, you know, how dogs will start licking and licking and yep. licking the spot. So I would definitely think it would be good um, for. Looks like a giant face cream. <laughs> I've had my same tub for three years since I got my first dog. I got it right when I got her. And I mean, I still have a decent amount left in there. So okay. it's definitely, Thank you. it'll last you a long while. It does not have lavender in it. Yeah, I actually use this pretty much daily for myself. I, um, I'm a special needs uh, teacher and I uh, get scratched um, quite a bit. I actually got one today. And um this is like my first aid kit, kind of. Um, that and the uh, KidSense Owie Oil. Those are what I put on any kind of boo-boos, any kind of things like that. Um, and it works so well. I really love having this. And yeah, I, I do use this pretty, pretty frequently and I haven't even gotten to the halfway point yet. And I've had it probably two plus years. So it's, it's literally one of my favorite products. I love it to use on my heels because my heels get really dry and cracked and I love it. It works. I mean, I can tell a difference right after application. Yeah. It's so I think good. it's funny that like we have these categories for things, but like we mix them up. Like I use some of the baby stuff, like the seedlings baby lotion is my favorite lotion that we have. And, um, and I've also like, I'm about to switch over to that being my base moisturizer um, once I run out of my current moisturizer. So just like, like even if it's for animals, like people can use it too. <laughs> or like the kids stuff. I use, um, I use a good amount of the kids uh, oil line, the kids scents. I use Owie and Tummy Jives and um, yeah, they're great. So we can all Nicole, Lindsay says I have it's probably Lindsay. <laughs> 
What? Oh. Like a, Lindsay with an E, it's probably her question, isn't it? I'm cooperating here. <laughs> I have questions. I want them answered. Oh, See, I'm facts. You. facts. Facts, facts, facts. I just know you. I know you. Go. Ask your question. Okay. So I know, like, when Nicole's been sick in the past, you know, I put some thieves in her tea and, you know, and we use it for cleaning and whatnot, but are there actually, like, what are, like, the, is, I don't know the word for it, like, antiseptic, is a disinfectant. disinfectant, like, qualities on it, like, is it actually something that, you know, I can cut up chicken on my counter and then legit just spray it down with thieves, let it sit for a little bit, and I'm that's good. That's such a good example because that's the one that we have. <laughs> um, <laughs> but there's like this, there's this, uh, there's several um, like nurses and doctor, like young living members that will do the like tests and you'll right. see like the, the paint tape strips on the counter and they'll like do different cleaners and bleach and then they'll swab afterwards and petri dish, you know, whatever. Right thieves holds up like it might have a okay. tiny little something on it but like bleach will be covered you know the little petri dish from the bleach section um, right things like that and that specifically was raw chicken <laughs> so that's why i love that um but yes it does and and there's several different oils in it but i remember years ago i was on pinterest looking up like a diy oven cleaner okay and so i saw what like baking soda lemon juice cinnamon you know things like that well it has lemon and cinnamon in it like it has these these um oils in it that are specifically used for we are not allowed to say the word disinfectant so i'm not gonna say it so okay <laughs> say the anti words we can't say the dis <laughs> yeah. right because then then i mean my other question is you know for for general maintenance things like you know how some people use jet dry in their dishwasher or if you're starting to get like a mildewy smell in your washing machine like is that something that that you would say you, you know okay. run an empty load throw a couple drops okay. of thieve in okay so okay so there's a difference there's a, there's a difference between a few drops of the essential oil and different cleaners or like different thieves cleaner products okay um and the reason i say that is because like the thieves cleaner has stuff in it to clean like it is specifically okay. to clean whereas the essential oil that is in the cleaner is really good for that immune support and it has those essential oils in it that are good for cleaning but you don't like i don't typically use just thieves oil like in what you just talked about does that make sense like i would do a solution of vinegar thieves cleaner and like baking soda in the dishwasher and i would run it does that yeah. make sense like there's a little bit of difference and i just wanted to clear that like make that clear yeah do you okay remember, you remember that thing that we had mm -hmm. on the cooktop and i couldn't get it off yeah i did like baking soda and thieves cleaner and like pine and it got it off like all okay. the cleaners that i used to scrub that thing off never came off i put baking soda on there with some thieves <laughs> cleaner and some pine it came off like okay. 10 minutes well, and that's the scrub that I use, that combo, like just baking, it's, I'm simple. You can make it more complex, but I just use baking soda and Thieves Household Cleaner into a paste. And that's what I clean my tubs with, my showers with, my, my sinks, wherever I would want to scrub or my stove top. Uh, like you either have a flat top or I have a gas range. So I get down inside and you know, it, things get baked on, I use that scrub. So while we can't say certain things, like we can't say it's antiseptic, it's anti whatever, I can say, I use it to spray down my counters. I use it to clean my appliances. I use it to wipe that seal inside my washing machine once a month at least, you know, and spray it down. Um, and and Sevy's, it was it Sevy, yeah, put baking soda, apple cider vinegar, thieves cleaner, you know, so you can do vinegar and, you know, and you can, you can mix up a lot. There's a lot of DIYs and we do a whole class on thieves. Um, there's all kinds of, of recipes out there for thieves. It's awesome. It was the first thing I had my wellness doctor tell me that I needed to switch over to. Well, and I will say, so natural cleaners have a bad rap for a reason. They suck. Um, they they don't do what we're used to, right? Like we're used to our, our, our um, dish soap foams a lot. Like that's what we're used to. And so when it doesn't, it's like, well, this isn't gonna work. But A, you kind of figure out a few hacks and, and I can go into that later, but um, you know, make it work. But also B, it's like the reason it foamed was not a good reason. <laughs> 
like that was not a good product or, or uh, ingredient. Um, and so I was hesitant actually of all things to dive into thieves. Um, but the more I got, the more I loved. It smells great. I wasn't, I actually, my immune system skyrocketed when I started using the thieves line because I was eating off of plates that didn't have chemicals on them. You know, I was um, washing my hands with something that didn't have chemicals in it. I was brushing my teeth with something that actually is really good for my immune system and, and a lot of diseases start in your mouth, you know, like things like that. And so beyond like the oils and even the thieves oil itself, like the thieves cleaner line kind of kept me from going down. I'm trying so hard. I'm so paranoid now that we're recording to not say things I'm not allowed to say. But we can say and not compliant. Um, yeah. we can say, um, if those, I like it was saying the oils that are in thieves, if you start looking those up, there, there's all kinds of research out there, all kinds of reports out there that'll tell you that clove has one of the highest ORAC values. And I was just trying to look up ORAC to see what it stands for, because it does stand for something. Um, it's in radical absorption component or quotient or something. Like I can't remember what the C is. Yeah. Cellulose. I'm just kidding. No, it's not. <laughs> Cellulose. Only read alphabetical. Oxygen cookbook. radical absorb absor absorbance capacity. Um, Lindsay, what were you saying? Um, just really quick, kind of backtracking a little bit, talking about like um, the science behind um, thieves. Um, I didn't grow up using bleach, but a lot of people do, and um, I'm. I have to use chemical cleaners at work um, and it's really interesting like seeing the differences because I don't use those at home but I'm um, I'm noticing and in some of those scientific like studies that people have done um, they will say that uh, there's a residue that gets left and bacteria could potentially grow on that um, and I see residue every single day <laughs> and it's kind of gross. Um, so that was something too. I think that's where, uh, thieves, I don't know if I'm allowed to say certain things, but anyway, there's a difference there between our stuff and the residue that is left behind on chemical stuff. So, um, that's Fair one point. thing as well, well yeah one of, the things, one of the reasons a lot of us use bleach number one we kind of grew up with it or the products had it in it and it um like if you if you spray your shower with a product like a clorox product or whatever it makes the mold and mildew go away it seems but really all it does is bleach it it doesn't kill it that's what they've proven in independent studies and everything else bleach cool. doesn't kill the mold and so but I had a friend who had a really severe um, abscess in her lungs. And one of the things the doctors, after asking a bunch of questions, she was, went, was overkill in her house spraying every day with Clorox and bleach. And they were like, you are killing yourself. I mean, even, you know, regular doctors were recognizing you can't do this to yourself. So it's very toxic. It's not good for us. And please stay away from bleach but there's a lot of natural things that you can use and i mean i love chelsea's remark where she said she scrubbed her bath with it and the and the grime or whatever didn't come back as fast you know i mean that's her experience that's her we can say that that's what Chelsea did um and if you use essential oils you're less dirty i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> well i know so like i'm a teacher and i know that like we're not allowed to have diffusers in our classroom um, and we do like they give us Clorox wipes to wipe everything down with and especially now with them talking about how we're going to reopen they want us wiping the desks down in between classes um, so that you know I have four minutes to wipe down 30 desks um, and I, I've already wiped them down anyway but I know like with the Clorox I have a headache and then my kids come in and they're just like what's that smell and I wish I could use like a thieves cleaner but I'm pretty sure the school won't allow me to do so. <laughs> And so going from being in school, having to, and I notice in my hands too, like my hands would be all dried out and gross from Clorox wipes. And then I come home and I get to use like my thieves cleaners and I just don't understand why the school won't let me use that instead of Clorox. Well, and it's the unknown. It's the unknown and they, and they, they think this other, they've been told this other. I've talked to several different 
places and they're like, but you know, like they'll have a commercial cleaner and they're like, but like at a dentist office, she's got a mask on, she's got gloves on and I'm sitting there having to breathe it, you know? And yeah. so I made a comment and she said, but we have to clean. And I'm like, yes, you do. You do. And then she was like, but that other stuff won't clean as well. And I'm like, Mm, I, I believe it will, you know, I can't swear it will, but well, give me the, you know, scientific proof. Well, well it definitely won't give you respiratory yeah. uh, irritations, whatever I'm allowed yeah. to say. <laughs> um, does anybody else have any questions? What did you say, Lynn? I said, this is like our hardest class <laughs> to not say something. Yeah, we're just that. never allowed to record with these stuff. Let's just... <laughs> <laughs> Um, but actually, Nicole, I was going to say, because I, um, I, I work with kids, too. I'm in a center. Um, so we're already back. And, like, things are where we've been back for, like, two months. And um, we do have to use that kind of stuff. But I don't touch it. I put gloves on. And or if I can't get gloves, I'll at least put a paper towel on top of the wipe that I have to use. That way it's not directly touching. And then I wash my hands right away. Um, so that's what I've been doing, um, because it's kind of unavoidable for me right now. But, um, but I was also thinking about maybe you could spray like a purification spray after you've cleaned that way, at least it's, it's kind of cleaning the air a little bit. I don't know. That's just something to think about maybe. Um, but yeah, you can protect your skin. <laughs> I'm wondering, I mean, I don't know that it would if you would even be allowed to do this, but like Sophie was saying, you can people that can get those swabs where they're swabbing it down and then you put it in this thing and it breaks and the liquid goes down and that's how they test like, like a food um, inspector might use that in a restaurant and test. Um, I guess these are available. It'd be kind of cool to be able to do an experiment in the classroom and, and do like half a desk with, Clorox or you know before and after and half with thieves and just see if it actually was effective and I mean, that might be like I know um our science teachers did there's some kind of like cool thing you can get for science classes where like when you turn off the lights it makes all the germs go in the dark black, and, black yeah yeah the kids really like doing that the teachers don't because it's really disgusting <laughs> um because you can see everything you're just like oh my god that's so nasty and I teach middle school and so you think that they would like have some level of, of cleanliness and they really don't. Um, you know, but no, it's covered up with axe. <laughs> axe yeah, I smell axe all day long. It's like axe and VO all day long for me. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> Anna, it is, it's awful. It's even awful when you have to go and tell a kid that they stink. You have to be like super sweet about it and be like, listen, honey, um, you're at that age where you need to start wearing deodorant and putting it in your PE locker. Um, don't want to talk to me like that. Yes. Uh, but no, that would be interesting. I could, I, maybe I could talk to one of the science teachers and have that done. That might be fun. Mm -hmm. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Report awesome. back. <laughs> Bring in some, you know, long, young living deodorant, just like keep it in my desk for when the kids stink. Well, they say that when they've done awesome. in schools, like where they've swabbed like a high school, and they've gone, you know, railings, doorknobs, um, keyboards, you know, the bathrooms, you would think that would be the worst. The worst thing they found was the keyboards on the computers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because the kids will like lick their fingers and then touch the keyboard. I don't know why they constantly have, have their, something in their mouth. Their booty and touch the keyboard. <laughs> oh, yeah. Their That's nose a... and touch the keyboard. Yeah. Mm. They don't pick their nose. They're too old to pick their nose. That's what they tell you all the time. So why do I have a booger under here, Stan? I'm like, I just literally watched you pick your nose and eat it, but. Ah. but. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note. All day. All day, that's what I do. <laughs> yeah. This is an interesting <laughs> fact for you, Lindsay, with an E. I was just reading in here, I was trying to figure out what the ORAC meant. And there's a chart and it says um, the auric value is that um, the oxygen radical absorb absorbance capacity, meaning it's the free radical fighting capacity is another way of putting it. Um, the Ninja Wolfberry and Ninja, Ninja is actually a region in China 
So that's what makes that wolfberry different because there's actually just the Chinese wolfberry that's not from that region. But the Ningcho wolfberry dried has 303 um, on, this, on this scale. The Chinese wolfberry is 202. A, we all know that blueberries are good, right? Mm -hmm. They only have 32. Wow. Yeah. Pomegranates, which are supposed to be high, are 105. The acai berry is 184. Wolfberry is 303. There you go. Makes it. It's so some Ningxia girl. I got two bottles in the pantry. If you a Ningxia kit girl, then you'll have even more in the pantry. Yeah, girl. Yeah, girl. I'm making Marley uncomfortable. I love that the. <laughs> Chatter. I love the questions. I think it's great. Does, okay, that's it's nine o'clock. I was about to ask last call, but it's nine o'clock, so we are going to let you guys go. Thank you so much for coming, Lindsay, and I love teaching this kind of stuff. And obviously, these and Ninja are our favorites. <laughs> if we're allowed to have those, um, but I hope you guys have a great night. And whoever invited you, make sure you reach out to them if you have any further questions or if you would like this recording um, just to rewatch it. Uh, go ahead and ask for it. But I hope you guys have a great night. Bye. So long. <laughs>